Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 345. It's brought to you by the Nokia NA10. <laughs> It's going to be a crazy week. I'm finally going to New York for the first time, but I'll save that for Twitter. NAB is in Vegas this week, and Red is dominating the convention with announcements about two new cameras and an unprecedented optical disk drive. Let's start with the 5K Epic. It improves on the Red One by bumping the specs up from 4K to 5K. I'll explain what that's all about in a second, but first, here's what the Epic offers. It has a full-frame S35mm new Mysterium X sensor, that's Red technology. It'll shoot from 1 to 100 frames per second. It'll have full-size dual-link HD SDI, two XLR audio inputs, and HDMI. It has Wi-Fi, FireWire 800, and USB 2. It will not be available, though, until early 2009, and Red says specs, delivery dates, and design are subject to change. In fact, they say you can count on it. The 4K Red Ray is also projected to be released in early 2009. It's a drive that plays 4K, 2K, 1080p, 720p, and standard def video stored on Red Disk and something called Red Express. It also plays native raw R3D files from compact flash. I still owe you an explanation about 5K, 4K, and 2K, right? Hold on, because the 3K Scarlet is the camera that I hope we eventually are using to shoot Geek Brief. It's a small professional handheld that shoots between 1 and 120 frames per second and also does 180 frames per second burst. It'll come with a 4.8 inch LCD and an 8x T2.8 red zoom lens. It'll also have auto or manual shooting modes, HDMI, HD SDI, FireWire 800, and USB be too. It's expected to sell for around $3,000, and now that explanation, I promised. We shoot Geek Brief TV in 1080i and then compress the heck out of it for those of you who watch on an iPod Zoom or iPhone. 2K, 3K, 4K, and 5K video go way beyond high definition. In relative terms, this is standard definition. This is 720p. This is 1080p. Remember, we're talking relative terms. Otherwise, at 1080p, I would be filling this screen. 2K is a little bigger, 3K is a lot of bigger, 4K is bigger still, and then this is how 5K compares to other resolutions. The other big story today was about a little David-like company that has decided to take on the Apple Goliath with something we call a Hackintosh. It's a computer running OS X that's made from off-the-shelf PC components. The little company is called Cytar, and their Mac clone is called the Open Mac. Starting at $554, an Open Mac comes with a 2.2 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor, a 250GB 7200 RPM hard drive, 2GB of RAM, Intel GMA 950 integrated graphics, and DVD plus minus R optical drive, and four USB ports. Upgrades are also available if the company survives the expected legal assault from Apple. On one hand, I would love to see Apple just let this go, but that ain't gonna happen. Apple sets the rules by which it chooses to do business, and this breaks them. Still, you gotta admire their moxie. So here's an update on the whole pre-roll thing. I've gotten over 743 comments. Only a handful of people love pre-rolls and think they're the greatest thing ever. Primarily, we agree that pre-rolls should be very short, 5 to 10 seconds at most. They should include the host of the show, and they shouldn't be repetitive. I actually think that they should be different every single time. A small percentage of commenters said you would stop watching if we did pre-rolls. I can see those points too. Here's what I decided to do. We're going to try this as an experiment. Four episodes of Geek Brief will have pre-rolls between the end of May and the beginning of June. I don't know yet if they will be the same or different, and I don't know the links. I'm asking you guys to stick by me through the experiment and give feedback to me and give feedback to Podshow, and hopefully advertisers are paying attention because this is ultimately our medium, yours and mine. Together we're the pioneers, and if we don't stand firm and set our own rules, then we might as well be making TV. I'm Callie Lewis, and this episode was brought to you by the Nokia N810 and promo code GeekBriefTV. This code saves you 50 15% off the purchase of an N810 directly from Nokia. Have a great day. And there this.